Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Some good news, exciting news. I checked the mail today and I got my stuff from LZ BMX. Uh, this should be the um, stick vinyl sticker for the back window. And this should be the case, signed by Nicole, Adam, and Big Boost himself, Alberto. I'm actually really excited. Alright, well, everything is awesome. I unboxed my first item, which was my iPhone 7 Plus case. Signed by, I think, Adam and Nicole. I can't really tell the signatures. Maybe you guys can tell me by the comments. Can't really read it, but it's definitely signed. And also, Adam and Big Boost drew me a little drawing. And they draw me this. It looks awesome, yo. Yeah, much better. Awesome. Thank you, Adam, and thank you, Big Boost, so much for that. Thank you, guys, so much. All right, so the iPhone 7 Plus case has been unboxed. Got a picture uh, with Big Boost and a little thing message saying thanks from hashtag AdamLZ. Got some stickers, too, guys. Um, I think they go for the uh, back window, some for the... Uh, uh, what you call it, there's something like this here that will go inside the car or whatever, you know, but this is huge. I will definitely be ordering more stuff from lzbmx.com. Now we're going to get the unboxing for the big sticker for the back window. Alright, so I just unboxed the second item, which is the sticker for the back window, well, the windshield back window, and, uh, Pretty damn big, actually. I don't know if you guys can see it, but hell yeah, man. LZ BMX. And I got even more stickers than that. And I got the case and everything signed by Adam and Nicole. Uh, I have to figure out. Oh, yeah, it is signed by Adam. I can tell. I see an A and a D. Okay. And thanks for. Thanks, Big Boost, for the picture you guys draw me. I really. Really appreciate it. I'm one of your biggest fans. I watch your videos every single day on YouTube and everything else. It, yo, this is one of the best unboxings I have ever done. Best things ever. Thank you guys so much for sending me all this. It's amazing. I'll definitely be ordering more stuff from LZBMX. Shirts, hats, whatever. Thank you guys. But wait, this is not the end of the vlog. No way, Today, today's vlog is going to be amazing. I got more stuff to do for you guys, more updates and stuff for you guys. All right, so I'm in the car now. I'm going to go to be, I'm going to be going to the garage to get my air intake uh, to Jima cold air intake installed and uh, it's about maybe I say 20 25 minute drive depending on traffic wise so I'll be taking you guys there with me um, I would vlog while driving but unfortunately I don't have a stand so I will see you guys there when I get there all right so I just arrived at the place for the stuff Alright, so <coughs> we're currently at the shop. Here right now, just uh, let's see when they can do. Take my car. Probably gonna have to wait a bit, but uh, it's all good though. No big deal. I do need a shift knob, so maybe if they have any uh, any cool specials, I'm gonna get a shift knob if they have any. Alright, so I just gave my keys in, I'm at the shop, I have a couple of hours to wait, but it's all good. Uh, I'm just gonna look around, see if I could maybe purchase anything. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting maybe a new shift knob, I'm just not sure which one yet. Um, the sticker from LZBMX, I wanted to put it on top of the shift knob, so... 
Probably something like maybe a little, maybe a round one like this or something. Um, or maybe one of those if it's not that hard. Um, some of them actually don't come with the adapter, some of them do. So I've got no idea, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here and see what's gonna go. Um, I did ask if I could have gone in the back to see how they changed the intake, but unfortunately I can't because they're working on a project which concerns, which includes welding, and for the safety of the clients, they cannot have anyone in the back, so it's understandable. But um, hopefully by next time, I'll do the intake myself, but I'd rather just do it with the professionals first because my friend unfortunately is not available today to do it for me, so I'm actually just uh, doing, it, doing it here. My next project for my car is probably going to be one of these mags, to be honest. I'm not sure which ones, but uh, they've got a whole lot of selections, which pretty, which looks pretty sick to me. Like, I would get these ones right here, but I can tell, I can picture my car being stolen with those ones. So something not too classy, not too crazy. Maybe a racing bucket seat would be cool, but. We're gonna save that for the BRZ. What I find pretty interesting is that they have a demo right here of how a turbo, I think, is installed. It's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is the turbo right here, guys. This is, like, generally cool because it gives like, me an idea of, like, how it would be installed and it would give me ideas for what it would look like and the BRZ when I get it. And these bucket seats, honestly, the red one looks better. I think the red one is cheaper than all the rest. Actually, yeah, the red one is only $549, $549. But the red one looks much more better, for sure. I just want to give out a huge shout out and a huge thanks to Adam, LZ, Nicole, and Big Boost, Alberto, for sending me all this cool stuff, stickers and everything. Um, my case that I'm using on right now, my iPhone 7 Plus, it's signed by, I think, it says Adam LZ, but the bottom signature, I have no idea who it is. I'm guessing it's either Nicole or Big Boost, but they also gave me two papers in the back, a drawing of Big Boost signed by him and Nick and Adam. So huge thanks to you guys for doing that. That's amazing. Um, even if you guys would have charged us a little bit more for signatures, I would have still bought it regardless. All right, so I'm just sitting on a chair right now. I've got a bit of a wait. Um, I'd say maybe three and a half, four hours in total. My appointment's at 1.30. So uh, I'm really excited though. Like, imagine how I'm, I'm pushing my car now to the limit almost. Just imagine when I get my intake installed. It's gonna be cool. Plus maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking of getting the shift knob, but at the same time, the three mufflers that I saw were pretty cool. I'll show you guys. They were, they were kind of cool, like $49 each. And I got two of them in the back of my car, so roughly maybe 200 bucks or more to install and everything else. Alright, so uh, I just saw my car, they, they just took my car in, so um, it's around 1.30, 1.40 p.m., so I should be done by, I would say 4, roughly, that makes 3 hours, so uh, I'll be here for quite, some, quite, quite a few hours, but um, it's worth it, I have nothing else to do anyways, but uh, yep, he just took my car in, cold air intake from Tajima, and RPM gauge with a shift light. It's a kit, so um, I can't wait to see what it looks like. All right, quick update. Um, I spoke to the mechanic. He told me some solutions. Um, he cannot drill the hole because the, for the gate RPM gauge, there is a couple of wires he has to uh, put through the dash to the engine bay to where it actually is going to work and everything, and to screw on the. The, the gauge itself, he cannot put it on the dash because apparently it's gonna be a very expensive repair. So he's gonna put it like on the top left where uh, the thing is, I'll show you guys once it's all done. But um, 
Uh, it's gonna be under 500 bucks. He told me, so it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect for my budget. And um, yeah, saw the garage. That's actually pretty cool. They have a like a big truck. I say mid 80s or 90s. It would be a perfect project truck. Um, sorry that I couldn't bring you guys in the back. Um, I wasn't even allowed in the back unless I had authorization by the mechanic. So uh, yeah, just a quick update. Alright, quick update. Um, fortunately, they might not be able to install the intake. Uh, apparently, my car is too new, so the Mazda 3 2014. And there are certain components inside the engine bay that is a different placement that the uh, intake has to go. So um, I might only be able to do the RPM gauge, but it, that's okay with me, honestly. To be honest, doesn't really bother me. RPM gauge is my number one priority at this point exactly. but um, I will definitely get my refund if I cannot get my uh, intake so uh, I'll keep you I'll keep you guys posted all right so update number two he uh, the mechanic brought me in to um, a little uh, area where um, he's doing my car now. He installed the um, the RPM gauge, well the TAC gauge. Uh, everything lights up very well. It's very cool. Um, he still didn't do the air intake because we're trying to find a solution on which one to put in that will fit perfectly. Um, if I can't put a cold air intake, I'm just going to put a K and N, K and N, I think that's what it's called. A uh, regular air filter in. Um, doesn't really. There's no. There's no big difference to me. My car is gonna sound good, push and everything. So uh, keep you guys up to up to date. All right. So these ones here come with adapters. I'm thinking of getting that this little small one right here. That one right in the middle, or the blue one on top. Which one do you think? All right, uh, unfortunately I cannot get the cold air intake installed in my car. My car is too new, they say, so um, I only got the RPM gauge installed in the car right now, as you guys can see. It's not fully functional. They still gotta run some diagnostics to actually make it work. So I would say for my first mod in the car is a new stick, is a new shifter knob. It's a JDM shift knob. It's actually really good. I, I don't know what to do with all this gap though. I'll probably just keep it like that. But um, so far, so far, I'm getting the car. I'm just gonna do those two things. The, you know, I'm just gonna do full diagnostics at the garage when they call me for my next appointment. And uh, that's it. No turbo, no, nothing crazy, because this car is leased for four years. But I'm probably gonna keep it. I'm not sure yet. So until I know for sure what I'm gonna do with this car, I'm not going to do anything crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of it, shift it, and everything. It's really comfortable. And uh, yep. So pretty much everything's done. And. Um, yeah, I went to McDonald's because I haven't eaten since what uh, lunchtime. And it's almost it's around six o'clock now, so it's uh, I kind of skipped lunch or I'm gonna have a late lunch. It kind of depends. Um, I normally have supper around 9 30, 10. But um, yep. Thanks for guys. Thank you guys for watching. I enjoy taking you guys along on the journey with me today. Sorry I couldn't bring you guys behind the scenes of how the guy installed the gauge. Um, apparently they were doing welding and they were painting so there was a lot of chemicals in the air that I wasn't supposed to breathe so they had to give me like a mask anyways I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more I got Facebook uh, Facebook to be my name Josh Levy you want and I have also Instagram you guys could search me up on Instagram I do all a lot of posts for cars events and stuff like that the drifter 92 Check that out. That's my Instagram page. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.